Hey guys, Joe here, 690V, 690 Garage. Guess what? Not exactly perfect outside, but you know what? When you're on your moto trips, it's not always going to be perfect. We're going to get into the 690 gear. We're going to do the tent that I'm taking on my moto trip this year. And I'm going to show you how awesome, simple, lightweight, and ease of use that this tent can be. And I think it's going to be fantastic. Stick around. Hey guys, Joe here, 6980 V, 690 Garage, 690 Gear. Gear. Yeah, this is a new segment. I've been working on it, been trying to get it together. I've got so much other stuff going on, but I really want to get this gear going and show you if you're just getting into dual sporting and if you want to know the gear that I use and you can also purchase the gear that I have. I'll show you have links in the description so that you can go and buy this stuff if you want to. You may not. You may have your own gear. Um, but if you're new, or if you're just getting into dual sporting, this is some of the gear that I have, and I have tons of it. I have tubs and tubs and tubs, but I'm always trying to find, everybody talks about the unicorn motorcycle, I'm trying to find the unicorn gear. And it changes periodically, but what I'm always looking for is that light, that tight, and that doing it right gear, because that's what I want to do. I don't want to have a lot of weight and cumbersome stuff whenever I am out on my moto trips. I really, really want to keep it just super, super light and keep it super, super simple to where I don't have to think about it. Fast setup, fast breakdown. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, coming down to the local park. Now, I'm not going on a moto trip, but what I am doing is I'm doing a light simulation of if I was going on my moto trip and it just basically what I'm trying to do is just show you how simple this stuff is and this is the reason that I buy this gear is to make my life simple especially when I'm on my trip because remember everything that you take you got to lug with you and when you're lugging it with you it takes time and over a 14 day trip or a 20 day trip it can get pretty cumbersome so stick around we're going to get the tent out we're going to get set up and I'm going to show you how simple this tent is guys we're back guess what tent ultralight keeping it light keeping it tight doing it right this is it man two pounds this thing weighs nothing it football weighs almost more than this does super super awesome the desert walker i'm going to put it in the description if you want to pick one up it's actually a really cool tent it is a single pole tent to set up there's not much to it what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my tripod just to use it but basically what you use is you use a single pole walking stick you can throw that into your bag and that's what sets it up one pole nothing to it man not only that you could bring two trekking sticks you could use them to go hiking and stuff like that on your trips but there's not a lot to this tent i mean it's really really simple it's a four season tent um it is it seems a little thin, but it's all waterproof, and it gets great reviews. It gets really, really good reviews. But there's not much to it. I mean, there's really not. Basically, the vestibule and everything is all on the inside. So basically, you have a small vestibule, and then you have it set up to where actually your sleeping area. They say you could do two people. I'm not buying that. I'm going to say it's really more of a one-man but it's so simple and it's super light, it's waterproof. You can pack it right next to your bike. There's not much to this when you're putting it together. I mean, this is real time setup. There's just not a lot to it. I'm just gonna do a quick set. I'm not gonna get too in depth and crazy. Um, you know, you can do it yourself, but there's really not, you just, all I do, stake the four corners. It's like Grand Central Station when it rains around here. You would think people would want to go do stuff. Like, I don't know, hang out at their house. But anyway, yeah, stake the four corners. It is basically a pyramid or a teepee tent. And I do have buddies that are all about these tents. They're very cool. Some people love teepee tents, some people don't. I think they're fantastic. Very, very cool. And like I said, it doesn't take much. I mean, what are we at? Like two minutes? Just super, super easy. It's like Grand Central Station around here. So, 
get this set up kind of show you what we have and then once we get that done get show you the interior and we'll go from there grab a tripod now I use a walking stick I'm just using my tripod today just because there's not much to it that's about the right height right there it's not a tall tent guys it's not a tall tent I'm gonna say it's probably maybe three feet or so just not real tall but that's really it you just do the one pull like I said I'm using my tripod today but that's it man check that out not very expensive. They get real expensive if you get in to the name brands. Basically, Black Diamond, all the other guys. What you see is what you get. There's not much there. It's really pretty cool. It's got an air vent right here. It's thin. It's fully waterproof. One man, basically sleeping area. Perfect. Put all your gear right in here. Over here, firewood, whatever you need. Comes with guy outlines. That's it. I mean, just totally simple. There's not much to this. Breakdown, just as simple. Takes literally five seconds. Pull out your single pole. She falls right down into the middle. You zip her up. It's kind of wet and muggy here today, guys, but all good pull your stakes nice and muddy gotta love it <laughs> it's almost like really going out and doing the business so you pull all your stakes don't breathe a little hard using my helmet cam today a little weird but it'll do the job Take that, take my steak bag out. Waterproof bag. Very simple, not much to it. Basically what I do, I grab my center point, I pick it up, start stuffing. That's it. This is real time. So do the math on that. And I know there's some guys going, oh yeah, well, my tent's super awesome and I'm super fast with my tent. And you know what, you're right. It is fast. But for the most part, for a one-man tent, it usually takes anywhere from three to five minutes for setup. And it takes every bit as much for breakdown. So, but the other kicker is, what does it pack down to? That is what it boils down in my world, is your pack size. Pack size is everything. Because I travel with a giant loop, a Great Basin. And guess what? There's a decent amount of storage area in that. But it's not insane to where you can just pack the world. But I'm on a KTM 690. Check that out. Done very small. It's not it's half the size of my can. Take my steaks. The other thing is, is guess what? If you're out into the desert, guess what you can do? You can do two guy outs to your bike. Two to some rocks. Bam bam boom, you're good to go. I'm also going to do a segment and show you how that you can actually use a tarp system so that you can attach it to the bike. Did it last year. Fantastic. That's it guys. Not much to it. Desert Walker tent. Not very much. You can get one in the description. Show you where it's at. Very inexpensive compared to pyramid tents. Ultralight. Two pounds. It will stuff anywhere fantastic little tent. Anyway, I appreciate your time. I hope that you like the gear. And like I said, we're, whole, we're doing a whole new gear segment. 
all the things that I use whenever I pack on my trips. You guys have a great day, and if I can help you out, let me know.